Her heart's barely pumping. Ejection fraction is only 15%. No brain activity. She must have been deprived of oxygen during the fire. Is there any chance for improvement? There's an absence of brain stem function. And a heart that's not keeping up with the body's demand can't maintain for very long. So she's brain dead. Sin? She has to see her. Allison's our partner. They've been together for nine years. Oh, baby. Allison, you can take as much time as you want. Cynthia's in great hands with Dr. Julian here, and he'll keep you up to speed on her condition, all right? Is she in any pain? Dr. Julian, Chief said you can handle any questions. What? No. Uh, no, she's not feeling any pain. Excuse me. Hey, wait, wait! I'm pretty sure Dr. Drake meant that you should handle this. Possibly, but as the attending, I'm delegating the case to you. Is that a problem, Doctor? I don't have any experience in breaking news like this. Then you're gonna have to learn. I've got more pressing matters to see, too. Well, what could possibly be more pressing than telling a poor woman that her partner isn't going to survive the night? Patients who will survive the night. Okay. You <clears throat> have the floor, my dear. You have stage four colon cancer. Four out of? Four. Oh, well. At least I get an A plus. Survival rate. 10%. Well, I've had, uh, I've had worse odds in my life. Darling, life's always been a game to me. A dangerous one, but a game. And Lady Luck's always been on my side. We have to perform surgery to remove part of your colon. And then we're going to have to follow up with a rigorous course of chemotherapy. Okay. All in all, we're looking at several months oh, well. before we know if you're in the clear. That's unacceptable. What do you mean? Look, I, I, I got this rebel dude in the Congo I got to put out of business. A couple of months? He could have diplomatic immunity and be sitting poolside in Dubai sucking on a mojito. Well, yeah, I don't care about the dude in the Congo. Look, I promise. I'll send you a postcard. I'll, 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 I'll text you. I'll leave something on your Dad. fence Dad! Dad! Hello? We've got a drop off. Well, I guess they're on a break. Should we come back? Hell no. You can come back if you want, but I am not coming back. Let's just push him to the side and leave. That's cold. What? He's not going anywhere. <coughs> oh, my God. I, I didn't hear anything. Because if I don't believe it, it doesn't exist, right? Well, I think that's a good policy. Still nothing. Hold on. Let me just go take a look. Oh, my God. If you open that drawer and something pops out, I am totally going to crap my pants. Like, everywhere. Claire, you're a doctor. There's no such things as ghosts. Okay, seriously. Oh, no. You see, nothing. It was just probably some gas. I heard that dead bodies do that, you know, when uh, they've been sitting for a while. Looks like a nice guy. Peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it kind of looks like my cousin Bucky. Sometimes he'd come over and we'd make grilled cheese sandwiches on my mom's hot plate. <laughs> we'd make all these crazy choices, like I put bananas I'd in it. I'd kill for a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>